Yeah, so I was just curious if any of the stuff that was going on regarding like the plans for this year was going to was going to change the flow of things going into next year. I know that um especially like being a junior or sophomore freshman, um obviously this year wasn't an ideal situation and I don't think people expect it to go exactly back to normal right away, so I just I was wondering if there were any plans moving forward for like the future years to come with more permanent um I guess things. That's, that's that's a really, really great question. Um, and I'm going to be as open and transparent and honest with you as possible in saying that I honestly don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, um, never mind what's going to happen in August. But I will tell you that I suspect that things will look different in August than they have in any other August that we've had so far. And so the start of school will be different. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But what it looks like exactly, I'm not sure. Um, as we learn new information, uh, the governor is going to make an announcement on Friday at 3, I believe, um, that will affect uh, how long we're closed for now. Um, but even in August, I suspect that there will be students and parents who are still fearful about coming back to a normal environment. And so uh, we're having to prepare for the eventuality of perhaps having some students in school and some students not in school. Um, but still meeting everybody's needs. And so we will continue to make those plans. We will continue to consult as many of our students and our families and our faculty as possible in making these really difficult decisions um, because the input that we have um, is, is absolutely critically important to us. And so even, even this discussion today helps inform us as we go forward. So that's a great question. Of course, thank you. Josh, you had your hand up. Yeah, um, so I was I was just wondering um, with graduate. I know there's there's not really a way to have a definite answer to this, but um, with the graduation ceremony, is there the possibility if the stay at home order goes past May fourth, would the district be considering the possibility of say graduation just being postponed further, or do you think they they cancel it? That's also a great question. Um, we, uh, I know uh, John Graham has been working on this issue, and so I'm going to let him address that question directly. So he talked about it a little bit. He's an attendee right now, so he can't he can't respond in here. Basically, what John was um, told us earlier in the show was that um, they're looking at all different different scenarios and solutions. Josh, um, I know principals are all trying to figure out their way. Um, that they can make it happen. I know that they're committed to finding a way to make sure we we recognize seniors in whatever way we can. And I think that does include an opportunities to postpone it um, if possible. I think everybody wants to be able to have um, a traditional graduation or as close as we can and everyone feeling safe in that graduation. So I know that there's an array of things that he's that we're looking at in principles. So over the course of the next two weeks, John mentioned that there are some meetings that principals are having as we continue to get more information. And then I think the announcement from the governor on Friday is kind of looming over all of us as we're waiting to hear um, what he's going to say um, about jumpstarting the economy. And he said specifically about addressing schools. Um, so thank you for asking that question. Avery, you had your hand up next. Um, so LISD has just entered phase two of online learning and I just was like curious if we were going to have like, um, like if it's that's like a permanent for the like the rest of the year will we enter like a phase three or a phase four of virtual learning. So again, um, uh, Dr. Bent and his team have built uh, an incredibly robust phase two. And we foresee being able to extend that out, even if we have to get through the end of the year. Um, we're focused really on making sure that we keep connected with all our students. And hopefully you feel that way, um, that your teachers have reached out to you, that you're having interactions with them, that you're interacting hopefully with some of your peers in your classes, um, and that the online work is meaningful for you. So we want to make sure that you are mastering as many of the standards as possible so that we can get through the things that are absolutely necessary in order for you to be successful when you start your next phase. If you're a senior, your first year of college or, or uh, whatever you're going to be doing um, next year, and then for the rest of our students, you know, their next grade level. And so we, you know, built out as robust a phase two as we can. I think phase three for us would probably be 
um, what happens if we have to have a hybrid model of some kind in August. And by hybrid model, I think you mean, Bruce, just to be clear, if there's there's been talk of, of having opportunities for kids coming in in August and also who kids who want to change home. Because I, I think the big thing is everyone wants people to feel safe. Um, so even in August, you know, no vaccine. We, we were talking about flattening the curve and all, a lot of the science that's coming behind this. Um, will people feel safe even if, if we're asked to open our schools? Absolutely. Arvine, you had your hand up. Yes, so this is just a quick question about what August may look like. I know it's far away and right now we're thinking about the present, but hypothetically for uh, students who are not seniors or who are going into high school, any year of high school, um, is there a possibility, even the slightest possibility, that school may start itself at a later date? Or will it typically start on the same date, but start online if that's what worse comes to? So we, we will, of course, defer to the direction that we get from the governor and then the commissioner of education, um, depending on what happens. But our plan as of this moment right now is to start on time in August, preferably in person and everybody safe and well. Um, but if we have to be online, then we'll certainly start um, on our regular calendar start that, that's been approved already um, and try to get back into what would then be phase three of uh, remote learning. Um, right now, we're calling it emergency remote learning because we're still trying to figure out how to do it well. Um, hopefully, by August, if we still have to be online, then we'll be a little further along with uh, making it work better. Um, but for sure, we don't want to shortchange any student the opportunity to continue to get an excellent education in Leander ISD. Giselle, you had a question. Um, we're gonna have enough, we're gonna take about um, one or two more questions for Bruce. Um, we're going to be able to do this next week. We're gonna be announcing some dates and times for next week where we're gonna have these open Zoom calls for students and staff specifically. We'll, we'll do it in Zoom. Um, where people can sign up to attend and ask questions and we're going to open it up to a broader student base so please feel free to students or parents watching at home make sure that you talk to your kids and, and have them look out for those links and those invitations so that they can join and have an opportunity to ask their questions as well. Um, Giselle do you have another question for for Bruce? Yes um, this is kind of similar to what we were talking about earlier about schooling in August and grades I was wondering if we start schooling in August and we need to do it online, will it, will it continue to be like it is right now with the semester that the grades will be incomplete or passing or will we get grades like we normally like used to do it or how is it going to work when, when it comes to grades in August? Like what do you think is going to happen because we know that no decisions are found final currently. That's a really great question. Um, I think by the time we come back in August, if we have to be online, then we'll have to be in phase three, which will have to be much closer to um, what our normal reality would be. So I would anticipate that by August, if we're still online, then we will be back to, to some kind of a grading system. I, I would suspect that it might be a little different than what we've done in the past. Um, and I think, to be honest, we have a great opportunity here to do things a little differently. Um, and it's an opportunity we've been thinking about um, even before all of this change happened. Uh, and so this gives us a little catalyst to push us a little further down that line of making sure that students are, are really mastering the standards and getting the skills that they need to be successful and happy in life. And so we will be working extremely hard over the next couple of months and then into the summer to make sure that when we come back, students are presented with the best learning experiences possible. So it just, again, reflecting just on this conversation, it dawns on me that, um, and I'd love for the students to just think about the fact that um, they're about to end, most of them, you know, they're 12 or 13 or, or, or so years of public education or of, of K-12 private education, whatever that is, ending up in a public school. Um, and the poise of our students online tonight 
um, is just incredible to me. The the ability and skills and talents that you present are clearly evident. And I just want you to think about how far you've come and to think about the support that you've had in that time from your parents, um, from your teachers, from your administrators, and from your school district and from your community. Um, and I just want to give a huge shout out to public education because um, we are tasked with helping any student who walks in our doors no matter what. And I believe we do an incredible job of that, not just in Leander ISD, but across this great state. Um, and so I want to give a huge shout out to all of our employees. Um, I know they're having a stressful time too, uh, but they're doing incredible work behind the scenes to connect with our kids. Um, so students, thank you so much for coming online tonight and, uh, and showing us just how amazing you are.